With the 10th anniversary of the iPad's announcement passing, there was a lot of praise for the device, but there was also some complaints. Top among those complaints was about the multitasking on the iPad. A lot of people mentioned it was either too hard to understand or just too complex. So this is a guide to understanding the multitasking on iPad OS 13. iOS 9 brought the feature of having two apps side by side on the iPad, but it got upgraded in iOS 11 and then again in iPad OS 13. If we boil it down to the basics, the idea behind multitasking is the ability to work in more than one app at a time. Like I said, it's a basic definition. So let's start with the basics of multitasking. In iPad OS, this is called split view. Say I have an app open, but I wanna see the content from a different app at the same time. I can swipe up from the bottom and pull up the dock. Then I can long press on the icon of the app until it wiggles. Then I can start a drag. I can then drop it on either side of the app I currently have open. Once it drops, it will be in a 50-50 mode, meaning each app will be taking up half the screen real estate. There is a bar in the middle you can drag to adjust how much screen real estate each app can get. You can do this in a three quarter, one quarter view or a 50-50 view for apps. If you grab the bar at the top, you can swipe it to the other side and the two windows will swap places. You can add apps to split view from other places than just the dock. If you have a keyboard attached, on your iPad, hit command plus the space bar. This will bring up spotlight search. Type in the name of the app you wanna add it to split view. Now, just like with the dock, start a drag and then drop where you want the app to go. I wish there was a way to open Spotlight without having a keyboard attached while in an app. This needs to be added. You can also do this from the home screen. Start a drag of an app and then with another finger, tap on another app you want to open. Once open, drop the first app you are dragging into Split View. This is personally my least favorite way of using Split View. I find it more difficult than the others. You can also have multiple instances of the same app open at the same time. On the icon of an app that supports this, long press on it and select the Show All Apps button. This will open a menu that shows you all of the instances that are currently open for that app. In the top right corner, you can hit the New Window button. You can have multiple instances of an app paired with other apps. So I can have Things and Fantastic Hell together and then another instance of Things with Drafts. If you bring up multitasking on the iPad by long swiping up from the dock, you can see these pairs. With multiple instances of the same app, you can have the same app in split view next to each other. So if I have drafts open, I can drag and drop the drafts icon into split view and work on two different draft instances. If you already have multiple instances of that app open, you'll see a menu asking you to pick from one of those, or you can select the new window option in the top right corner. It doesn't have to be the icon either. Depending on how the app works, you can drag content. In the case of something like Apple Notes, you can drag and drop a note into Split View. This has been around since iOS 10 for Safari. You can grab a tab, drag it, drop it, and open another instance of Safari. This is extremely useful to me. Another one is when you're writing an email in Mail, you can put the Compose window into Split View. So that way you can reference back to your email that you're replying to. Split view isn't the only way you can do multitasking. There is also slide over. When starting a drag of an app for multitasking, you see a rectangular box. If it's a wider box, this will put your app in side-by-side -side split view. If it's a narrower box, this will do slide over. I wish these were defined better, but after a bit, you do get the hang of it. The slide over window hovers over the other windows. It usually takes the shape of the iPhone layout of an app. If you grab the bar at the top, you can shift the slide over app from the right side to the left side or vice versa. To dismiss it, slide it all the way over to the right side and then swipe it right again. To bring it back, just swipe in from the right side of the iPad to the left. If you grab the bar at the top and pull down, it will put that slide over app into split view. To go back to slide over, just swipe down on that bar. Down at the bottom, there is a multitasking bar. This works just like the iPhones. Swipe along the bottom to switch between the previous apps and swipe up to bring up multitasking. We've talked a lot about dragging and dropping apps, but don't forget you can do the same things with text, pictures, URLs, and more. It's an important part of the operating system. The final piece of multitasking is picture-in-picture. -picture. When watching a video, you can hit this icon to open picture-in-picture -picture mode. 
Most video players have this except the one you want, YouTube. I've mentioned my workaround before. It's an app I use called CornerTube to get around this. I'll link it in the description. I use this a lot to watch a video and take notes at the same time. Or that one summer when I was really into baseball, I'd watch a game as I wrote. Rene Ritchie over on the Vector channel and the Adapt podcast featuring Federico Vitici and Ryan Christofeld both had really good ideas on how multitasking could be approved upon for iPad OS. I'll link to both of those in the description below. While I don't pretend to have the answer, I do think there is more that needs to be done. A couple of things I would like to see is the ability to have keyboard shortcuts add or remove apps to multitasking. I also think Spotlight needs to be accessible while in an app to those iPad users that don't use a keyboard. Finally, I would love a way with shortcuts to open a static pair of apps in Split View with the push of a button. So that's it. That's everything you need to know about iPad multitasking. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.